Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make such great soaps for Halloween. Actually you can use the tips to make any kind of soap for any occasion as a gift or for your personal needs. All you need is melt and pour soap, alcohol, pigment and several molds. The first soap is called a pumpkin pie. The technique implies any object inside. Some people even use dried flowers, which look great. The next soap is the Gaze of the Avis, in blue color and oval shape. It's a bit too opaque, uh, but the main idea of the video is to show you how to create such things. Then you can make them in your own taste. My favorite one. Black rectangular Gaze of the Avis. Looks cool. The next one is a bit funny, it's a zombie brain with black necrosis and a lot of blood. And here are some small pieces of soap, which were made with 3D molds out of the leftovers. A pumpkin and a rose. You'll need melt and pour soap, scales, a cup or a glass, knife, alcohol, gloves, flavors, pigments and molds. I use silicon pumpkin mold and plastic molds for square and the skull. I also be using black, orange and blue pigments and several flavors. You may use any kind of pigments, but don't use water soluble dyes, since they mix with each other right in the soap. You can also use scented and vegetable oils. It's a creative process from head to toes, and only the sky is your limit. This is how a plastic square mold looks like. You can substitute it with a plastic packaging, which can withstand high temperatures, like this one. I've got two types of soap, white and transparent. In fact, this is the same soap, but the white has white pigment known as titanium dioxide. Therefore, if you have only transparent soap, you can add this chemical to make it opaque. We will need only opaque soap for the background and objects inside. The foreground will be transparent or semi-transparent. Here you can see the difference between these two types of soap. Take soap and cut it in small pieces. Put it in a glass or a cup and warm your soap up until it melts. Be careful, don't allow the soap to boil, because boiling causes the oils and water from the soap to evaporate. Such soap is very hard and rough. Usually soap melts at around 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit and boils at 75 degrees Celsius or 167 degrees Fahrenheit. But everything depends on the particular soap you use. I melt. Here you can see how overheated soap damaged this mold. It can't be used now. Uh, I melt soap in a microwave at lowest power, but you can melt your soap in a glass in hot water, so called heated bath. Once the soap is melted, I spray the mold with alcohol to keep the surface clean and help the soap to peel off later. I add flavor and black dye to transparent soap. 15 minutes later. When the soap is solid, it may take up to around half an hour to solidify. You need to scratch the surface, which will be attached to each other and the next soap layer. It is needed to enhance adhesion. I scratch it pretty thoroughly. Then I do all the same with the white soap but I don't add dye, because I want my skull to be white. But you can make it any color. It will look cool too. Since the skull is too big to fit in the square mold, I don't fill the whole mold. It may be tricky to get such pieces of soap out of the mold. It needs some skills. Then I tidy up the edges and it's almost done. Scratching a bit, 
Once you've done, melt some more transparent soap, add flavor and a few drops of black dye. You need to add black color in order to make the soap look misty, as if the skull looks at you from the darkness. I think I should have added one more drop, but that will do. I spray the background and pour some soap to glue the background to the skull. Then I spray it again and fill the rest. Pour slowly to avoid bubbles. After that I spray it with alcohol again. Removing soap from a mold can be tricky. It needs refinement, like cutting the leftovers off and maybe polishing, because if the temperature falls drastically, the surface might have roughness. The first bar of soap is finished. The producing technique with the second bar is the same, but I use 3D mold and I don't add dye in the final stage, because I want this soap to be crystal clear. Now it's done. So let's make some experiments. Here's my zombie brain. I like the idea, but I think it's too much of black color. But that looks okay too. So now I want to add some blood. I just pour some red liquid soap on top of my zombie brains. I think it's too much for the blood, but it will look okay too. This is how I use 3D molds. I just pour soap as with the previous ones but I take out the soap easily. I cut it in half and put it in my pumpkin pie soap. 